all right so today hi guys today we what we are going to do is we are going to look into the box that is called as nibbles so nibbles is a very easy machine and it is very practical so if you could see the real life the graph it is actually a real life machine and then real life scenarios this these are the kind of machines that can be there and these can be based on real life scenarios so what we are going to do over here is we're going to first and foremost run an nmap scan against it so i'm just writing the command for nmap so nmap hyphen t4 so t4 should be in capital it's case sensitive and t4 simply means it's the speed at which we're going to scan then p hyphen p that means scan out all the ports and then i'm going to say hyphen a so a simply means that it is going to go ahead and grab everything within that port and try to find all the information related to, to that port so i've run the nmap scan it would take some time by that time what i will do is i'll go ahead and try to open up that particular box on my end so if i try to open up that box we get a hello world over there if i press ctrl u there is something in the comments and it says go to nibble block directory nothing interesting here all right so what i'll do is i'll open up the nibble block directory yep so it says nibble block was not found on this server uh, let me just see why that is happening. Uh, let me just press Control Shift U to check the code. Mm. It says nibble blog not found. There could be a possibility that the machine is, or I am not accessing the machine just a moment let me just check the access tokens yep there you go so i'm not connected to the machine so what i'll have to do is i'll have to change to downloads and then i'll have to write open vpn I'll delete this and I'll run it up as a sudo open VPN and then I'm gonna pull in my configuration file from my open VPN so there you go the initialization sequence completed now if I ping the, the machine ping 10.10.10.75 10 .10 so the machine is up now I can run an nmap scan against it. Perfect. As you can see, it's 7.83 percent done. It would take a while, but however, for the sake of uh, saving time, I've already done the nmap scan earlier. And if you could see, this is the result that we are going to get out of it. So it says port 22. 22 is open, and then it says port 80. So what I'll do is I'll just go to that particular directory first. The one that we paused on on the previous video now this is the directory that we are in over here what we are looking for is the version for the nibble blog so if we press ctrl u to check the source code we can search for the word version and that's nothing is coming on our end the way we are going to look for it is by it says powered by a nibble blog Let's search for Nibble Blog if it's an open source app. Yep, there you go. Fast, free, and easy open blog system. So the way we enter into this box is by using the Durbuster tool. I tried the Durbuster tool and we were able to find the admin directory. So it's admin is login at admin.php and the default credentials used on this box is admin and nibble the thing to learn over here is once we get access to it i'm so sorry it's nibbles so it's admin nibbles the thing that we need to learn over here is that there is a vulnerability that is at the uh, plugin level so i'll just split this terminal and then i'll use search exploit C A R C H S. Yeah, search exploit. Then I'm going to search for nibbles. Okay, nibbles is the box name. Nibble blog. 
there you go so if you see there are two nibble uh, exploits found first is for block version 3 there is an SQL injection and then there is a nibble blog okay so there's arbitrary file exp uh, upload so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this exploit to the place where I'm working so I've already created a folder called as nibbles and then I'm gonna say search exploit hyphen m hyphen m is for mirroring so I'm gonna mirror the exploit the exploit is over here I'm gonna say I'm gonna copy this to the current working directory all right, so if you could see, this has copied uh, the file. And if I press a control command L, let me just increase the terminal size over here. Just a minute. All right, so I already have that file. So it's asking me, should I overwrite it? Yes. Then I'm gonna use the less command to open up that file. Uh, the file name is 384rb.rb. Over here, this is the code within that file, and if you see, there is a blog that is mentioned over here. So let's open up this blog. Control Shift C, and then I'll place the link for this blog. All right. So this is the blog wherein it talks about the vulnerability. It says when uploading image files via the My Image plugin, which is delivered. All right. All right. So as a proof of concept, it's saying. We need to need to activate the my image plugin. So let's go ahead and to the plugins page and then search for image. There you go. So my image is over here. I click on configure and then it's asking me to upload a file. And over here it says obtain admin credentials. We have done that. Activate uh, the my image plugin already done. Upload the PHP shell. All right. So what I'm gonna search for over here is, I'm gonna do a quick Google search for PHP reverse shell and I'm gonna look for uh, Pentest Monkey website. PHP, just a minute, reverse. I don't need a one liner, I need a file altogether. If you see pen test monkey, I've already been there. This is a working shell. Over here, what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to download this file. So I've already saved that file. I'll show you the file when I extract that, the reverse shell that I've downloaded. I'm going to say extract here. And there you go. So it has been extracted. What we need to do is we need to rename this file. And I've already done that. This is the one it becomes as. I need re renamed it to image.php. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to the website and I'll try to upload this file image.php. And once I do that, before I do that, let me open up a listener on my end. Then map scan is still running. Let me exit out of this. Uh, let me just open up a list listener. So I'm using, using netcat for this netcat hyphen nvlp. Then I'm going to listen at the port. So the port, what we need to do is we need to understand what port is there on the PHP reverse shell. Which port is that uh, shell is going to connect back to us? So let's try opening that PHP file altogether. So it has been named as image.php. I've opened the PHP reverse file, uh, shell file over here. If you see the code so if you see the code over here it says ip so over here the ip should be our ip uh, so my ip on over here on my virtual box is 10.10.14.64 the easiest way you can use if config to check that otherwise you can see on this page here is the ip mentioned for your box now if we switch back to the terminal uh, this is our IP wherein the machine would connect to us and then the port. So it says the port is 1234 where the machine is going to connect back to us. So what I'll do is I'll open up a listener and I'm going to tell that listener to listen to us or connect back to us uh, on the port 1234. So I'm just going to create a terminal horizontally and then I'm going to use netcat hyphen nvlp and then I'm going to listen on port 1234. So it has started listening on port 1234. The moment I upload the file over here, 
there are going to be some errors so do you see that these errors and if you could read the blog it says ignore the warnings all right and then it says visit this particular directory to access that particular shell so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close exit out of this and to explicitly call that particular file since the exploit has been uploaded I'll go ahead and delete all of that press ctrl V to paste it I'm gonna just remove this thing from here and then I'm gonna press enter so we should there you go we just got a shell all right now we will open a netcat and we lp listener session at one two three four and then i am gonna reverse uh, refresh the page wherein i've uploaded the shell and the machine should talk back to us yes it is talking back to us now i'm gonna use sudo hyphen l sorry sorry sudo hyphen l what that would do is that would show you all the commands that we can execute without being a root or what all commands we can execute if you could read this uh, execute a command as another user it's going to take a while if no command is specified the hyphen l option will list the allowed users and forbidden commands for invoking users all right so let's see what's the status yep so this is the file let's change to this directory and then attach monitor.sh so we have created the file now it should be there if I press ls Oh, and I monitor dot search to see the contents in the file it does contain that otherwise what I could do that is I can remove the monitor and I'm gonna create it on my own perfect now let me increase the terminal oh, okay leave it uh, now what we need to do is we need to use the echo command echo slash bin slash bash that is called a shebang and then you need to put it on monitor.sh and then if I use less monitor.sh there you go let's change the permission chmod we will use the shortcut all three seven so that it becomes an executable file monitor.sh and then if I run this file, so we can run this at sudo dot and then slash and then monitor monitor.sh. It should come out uh, with an error message saying that we are unable to resolve the host nibbler or nibbles, but we would be getting an es uh, we would be getting an escalated privilege. Well, it's still working let's give it some time by the time we can come here and read this so if you see this guy has also done sudo and then he ran the file and then he says unable to resolve the host nibbles connection timed out yep who am I who oh sorry who am I root there you go now in order to locate the flags we can use update database command and then we can say locate root dot txt there you go so the root file is here and I can copy that paste it away so there's the root flag then comes locate user.txt this one is here let's copy the text and then 
less there you go so there are both the flags that we can use thank you so much for watching this video in case you have any questions comments please drop down below and i'll help you understand thank you so much take care have a nice day bye bye